To remove and install the axle on your Razor 200, follow these steps. Park the vehicle on a flat level surface and ensure the parking brake is set. Next, remove the center cap from the wheel. Then, remove and discard the cotter pin from the wheel hub castle nut. Continue by loosening the castle nut. Next, loosen the lug nuts while the vehicle is on the ground, but do not remove at this time. Then, safely elevate the vehicle. Reference your owner's manual for proper lifting techniques. Once safely elevated, remove the lug nuts and set aside. Then, remove the wheel and set aside. Next, remove and discard the castle nut and cone washer from the wheel hub. Then, pull the rear hub assembly away to remove from the vehicle. Next, remove and retain the fasteners and washers securing the radius rod to the bearing carrier. And discard the nuts. Then, remove and retain the three fasteners and washers that attach the rear bearing carrier to the trailing arm, and discard the nuts. Continue by pulling the bearing carrier away from the drive shaft and trailing arm to remove from the vehicle. Next, with a short sharp jerk, remove the axle from the axle housing. Continue by inspecting the threads and splines on the axle for nicks or burrs, and replace if needed. Then, inspect the CV boots to ensure there are no cuts, wear, or damage, and replace if needed. Next, remove and discard the compression ring on the axle. Then, install a new compression ring into the groove on the end of the axle. And ensure it is fully seated. Before installing, clean any old anti-seize from the axle housing and hub assembly. Then, apply new anti-seize to the inboard splines on the axle. Next, align the splines on the axle with the axle housing and push in firmly on the shaft until the compression ring is fully engaged in the housing. Next, insert the half shaft through the bearing carrier and push the carrier against the shaft until fully seated. Then, reinstall three retained fasteners through the bearing carrier and loosely secure with the retained washers and new nuts. Continue by torquing the rear bearing carrier fasteners to specification. Next, align the radius rods with the bearing carrier and reinstall the retained fasteners from the rear of the vehicle. Then, loosely install new nuts. Continue by torquing the outer radius rod mounting fasteners to specification. Next, align the hub assembly with the splines on the drive shaft and push the assembly against the bearing carrier until fully seated. Then, loosely install a new domed washer, dome side out, and a castle nut. Next, reinstall the wheel on the vehicle and tighten the lug nuts until fully seated. Then, safely lower the vehicle until the tires begin to touch the ground. This will help keep the wheel in place when torquing. Once lowered, torque the lug nuts to specification in a crisscross pattern. Note that the wheel will need to be re-torqued after the first ride following this procedure.
Then, torque the wheel hub castle nut to specification. Continue by inserting a new cotter pin. And bend around the castle nut to secure. If necessary, tighten the castle nut to align the cotter pin holes. Then, push the dust cap onto the wheel and ensure it is fully seated. Finally, safely lower the vehicle completely. For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit Polaris.com.